United are set to miss Danny Griffin for the next month, so short-term signing Mark Kokotza was drafted in. David Hanna was on from the start with Juventus loan signing Ronnie O'Brien, again left on the bench. Celtic were without suspended Jos Valharan and injured Chris Sutton. Jackie McNamara was given a starting berth, as was Stephen Craney. Larson and Hartson were up front. The referee at Tannadice was John Robotham, match commentator for Scotsport, Peter Martin. Well, it's been suggested that Celtic are going through somewhat of a sticky period. Well, if it is a sticky period, I'd hate to see them hit a bit of form. The facts are fairly simple. Martin and Neil side have only lost one game this season, and the opposition today, Dundee United, haven't won a match in the last seven. So, what kind of game are we in for here? Alex Smith desperate for United to try and get a little bit of form together and there's no better place than at home Good play by Charlie Miller he has an abundance of skill this is Mark Kokoza with his first touch Benitez oh, letting in John Hartson here's an opportunity for Celtic Hartson chance to score the opening goal good save Paul Gallagher An early chance for John Hartson and the United keeper showed all his quality to deny Celtic the lead in this match but slack defending and Hartson for just a good shot and equally matched by the save from Gallagher. Well, and Aberdeen, Alan Thompson and Stylian Petrov were pelted with snowballs. Thankfully, the weather not quite as horrendous but equally as cold here in the city of Discovery. Petrov with a corner. Driving it in. All the United players let that one travel. Thompson. Celtic just getting a little bit of rhythm going. Clearance by Jim Lachlan. Lambert. Alan Thompson. Away from Benitez. He's led up. Benitez just happy to clear the danger Craney over it goes and United forced to defend in the early moments of this match Thompson gives it away McNamara beautiful ball through here's John Hartson what a start for Celtic what a start for Hartson he threatened only moments ago and Celtic are in front and it's John Hartson. Beautiful ball through. Hartson steadied himself and fired it past Paul Gallagher. Lovely ball, but again, there was still a bit of work to do. And his 12th goal of the season. And yet again, a message to Martin O'Neill that he can prove to be an able deputy for Chris Sutton. Craney. Lambert's just holding it up, keeping possession as ever Paul Lambert very rarely wastes the ball and on occasion wins Celtic the free kick. Once again United forced to defend. This time it's Petrov whipping it in there, Balder with a shot, oh, oh and that one almost sneaked in past Paul Gallagher. It was low from Petrov and Bobo Balder had to crouch a little, just getting the flick on it, and it would have sneaked in there, so good save by the United keeper. Lovely play by Thompson away from Kokosi, easy enough. There it goes, and uh, offside in the far side, assistant referee had the flag up before Hartson had put the ball in the net. I'm not so sure, I think it might have been for a push because nobody had strayed offside and there it is there Here come United, Balda chance to pressurise Celtic here, McNamara drops to Thompson that's the first real chance for United Stephen Thompson he scored two against Rangers, finished them off in style, but that one just too direct. Yeah. 
Hudson into the path of McNamara. Picking it up now is Larson. McNamara's continued his run. Good move by Celtic. This could be two. It is. Still in Petrov. Simple tap in, and it's his first goal from open play. His previous four have all been from set pieces. But uh, the goal itself down to McNamara linking up with Larson and it really was on a plane for Stylian Petrov. Questions asked of the defending when a midfielder finds himself with so much time to finish this game off as a contest because United, not only on the ropes, they look as if they're on the canvas here. United posed Rangers a few problems at Ibrox before they eventually succumbed to the Rangers front line but there has been no suggestion of any trouble ahead for Martin O'Neill's team in this match. Celtic have looked dominant from the start and really have moved the ball about with consummate ease throughout. Lovely ball in again. Here's an opportunity for Larson. Oh, the chip in. Oh, that's a wonderful save. Absolutely magnificent from Paul Gallagher. But equally sublime from Henrik Larson. Look at the passing. Larson first touch and then. I'll chip the goalkeeper, that was absolutely magnificent. A touch of genius from Henrik Larsson, matched by a wonderful save from Paul Gallagher. Corner kick, Celtic looking for a third. Over it goes, there's a chance, saved again by Gallagher and cleared. United all over the place, and it looks as if Celtic could score at will here. So many players offering a threat, but that corner, fairly simple, could have brought goal number three. And so it continues. Petrov, Trainey. Lovely educated left foot and Celtic building through Thompson. Here's an opportunity and Larson. Natalie offside. He thinks it was close. Not as close. When you look at the pictures, Patterson is away from two. He did well, Jim Patterson, but eventually just ran out of steam. He felt as if he was fouled. Hasn't had the best of times, Jim Patterson. A pelvic injury, a broken leg, and only now is he getting a run in the side. And again, a lot of United play. Certainly the passing movement all completed in front of Celtic. Here's an opportunity to get in behind. Thompson! That's better stuff from United. And that's the first real positive bit of build-up play with an end product almost delivering a goal. And I think Baldur's touch took it away for a corner. Good play though by Stephen Thompson. Two chances and Young strikers had both opportunities. McCracken makes his move, Patterson delivers. Mulder's there, shot in there, he's an opportunity, blocked there, claiming for a penalty, Craney was in there, Thompson. Celtic swarming all over Stephen Thompson. Still a chance. He has a man over, Hannah playing it in. Here's the chance, Stephen Craney was the man who blocked Lachlan's efforts. I think there was claims for a penalty, but certainly not conclusive from that angle. Alex Smith trying to rally the troops, get them in at half-time, hopefully only two goals down. And he's looking for Charlie Miller to try and influence the midfield. It's a tough job at the best of times. Mielby once again. Very tight on McNamara. I think uh, John Robotham will just wait till the ball goes out of play with that late challenge from David Hanna. Yes, and the referee just having a quick word. Try and calm things down. The RB again takes a throw in, but at the end of 45 minutes, Celtic have been dominant throughout. John Hartson fired an early warning inside the first minute. And then he fired a goal in three minutes. Beautifully worked, pass from McNamara. Finished with some aplomb from Hartson, well away from Paul Gallagher. And then Celtic 
dominant throughout that first half, as I said, and added a second half to 27 minutes. Again, McNamara involved in the build-up, linking up with Larson and putting it on a plate for Stylian Petrov. A ton of dice is Dundee United nil, Celtic 2. Not quite sure what Alex Smith would have said to his players at half-time. Certainly the first thing is don't lose any more goals and let's hope we can sneak one and make a game of this. But on the evidence of the first half, Celtic have been so much in control. I think Martin O'Neill will be saying more of the same, but for United, they really have to try and pressurise Celtic and get in about them. And that really hasn't happened throughout the first half. Celtic in every department, first to the ball and always likely to cause United problems. Larson looked as if it was a hand there. just leaving it for Johan Mialbi and there is Alex Smith Clarkson getting the break of the ball is McNamara and it goes to Larson and McNamara in the challenge Jim Laughlin immediately apologises but it's a free kick in a dangerous area and let's just see what happened McNamara continued the run there just held it and it looked as if just a tangle of legs but a free kick nonetheless this is a dangerous position in Celtic of so many people who can deliver a goal from this sort of range Thompson, Petrov, Larson they're all capable but looks as if Thompson's the favourite here Thompson, oh it's in the back of the net, 3-0 and it really is game over now. Alan Thompson and the worst possible time for United to concede yet another goal. It just seemed to take an eternity but it just sneaked in past Paul Gallagher. No real pace but certainly a lot of precision right in the corner, it was curling away from Paul Gallagher, he could do nothing about it superb execution and 3-0 Celtic Alan Thompson delivering his fourth goal of the season brilliantly executed free kick from Alan Thompson and Martin O'Neill will be delighted with the start to the second half, it kills this game off completely. Supports who have uh, come to the city of Discovery in fair numbers and are happy with what they're witnessing so far. Lachlan Thompson wins the aerial challenge, and the referee's going to have to hold the play up here. Jim Patterson in some difficulty, and as we see it here, it looks as if just took a blow on the temple from McNamara but nothing too serious I hope and that is not a sight you like to see in football Jim Patterson will be replaced after a rather innocuous challenge by Jackie McNamara which I can only suggest at this point may well have brought about some sort of concussion and Jim Hamilton has the opportunity Charlie Miller chipping 
one in there and here's a chance for Jim Hamilton it's the first time the Celtic defence seemed to stand still and wait for a decision but it didn't come and Hamilton just sneaked in at the back away from Boulder that was a real opportunity and the best one for United in this game Alex Smith looking on bewildered suffered the loss of Jim Patterson but more worryingly is a real lack of a goal scoring talent up front to take what little chances United get in a game Thompson picking out Larson now streaming forward Petrov's there covered by Easton Larson trying to get there Thompson casually playing that one through oh lovely play by Petrov Larson what about the flick from Petrov a wall of United so up and over them and Larson with a chance Alan Thompson there's a late challenge by Jim Hamilton and Stephen Craney is in some difficulty I'll tell you Jim Hamilton lucky not to get a yellow card for that late challenge a look at it again and that is a dangerous challenge from Jim Hamilton and I'll tell you he is very very lucky not to get a yellow card for that one Martin O'Neill made the point that Celtic could struggle if key players start to pick up injuries in the first team squad and one wonders if those words are going to come back and haunt the Celtic boards clearly are under a fair bit of pressure to supply them with money to strengthen this squad and that is a real worry the second player going off in a stretcher this time though it's a Celtic player so Patterson with a head knock and now Stephen Craney replaced by Olivier Tivoli and more injury worries for Martin O'Neill Hartson McNamara again Lambert rather uncharacteristically just giving the ball away Douglas with a kick out and again Hartson winning it here's Larson in a dangerous position you cannot allow him any space it's 4 nothing, and John Hartson provided the pass the flick on for Henrik Larsson he took it in his stride and finished it off again Hartson winning so many flick ons and his striking partner showing all his quality the first touch was good the second touch was better A nice way to finish the new year for Martin O'Neill a win up at Tannadice the way he started his career here at Tannadice in the opening day of last season Hartson Peter continuing the run Kraken covering it over it goes and palmed away by Paul Gallagher is Hartson there's the header Thompson that really would have capped off a fine display by Alan Thompson a wry smile but Gallagher wasn't sure had to palm it away and eventually Flying header, Alan Thompson couldn't get it into the back of the net. A number of United fans have left the stadium long before the end of this match. Clearly disgruntled with what they've witnessed. Here's Charlie Miller, he'll get a free kick. It's David Hanna. Just isn't going to happen for Dundee United. And in fact, game over. Celtic winning this one comprehensively here at Tannadice it finished Dundee United nil Celtic 4 I think our overall play was excellent but it is important to score naturally and at important stages of the game 
we got off to a good start. We were right to the tempo of the game very, very quickly. And, uh, and we got a goal, a good goal by John Hartson. Settled it all down. I thought our, our play was scintillating at times for, uh, from us. We've got a second goal, could have had a few more before half time. Naturally, the third goal just after half time is, uh, was a big boost for us. It gives us 3 0. Gives us a little bit of respite then in case Dundee United come back into the game. Celtic started very quickly and scored within a couple of minutes and that uh, set us back because we had made two or three changes and we'd hoped we'd get settled into the game and give the lads a chance to get settled down into the positions they were asked to play. But losing a goal as early as that to a, a team is, with the qualities that Celtic have is very, very difficult after that because their tails were up and uh, they certainly knocked the ball about and I thought they played some tremendous stuff at that stage. First of all, is there a rift between you and the, the, the club and the board in particular over the lack of cash that you desperately need? No, not at all, absolutely not. I mean, I, um, the situation is here that I'm the manager of the football club. I know, uh, I know what I have to work with, I know the sort of budgets that I have to work with and uh, I've kept within those particular budgets but there's absolutely no riff at all. Has anybody in what is the proposed new board spoke to you at any stage? I had a couple of minutes with Jim McLean uh, one Sunday but uh, that, that wasn't, wasn't anything to mention at all. Was it positive in the fact that he's no, saying fairly, that you're... It was fairly positive, yeah, there was nothing untoward in it. So Jim McLean clearly feels as if Alex Smith will lead Dundee United if he yeah, comes well, back? As far as I know, it was him that came and got me. And uh, since then, uh, we've stayed in the league and we were fifth in the league uh, two or three weeks back uh, when this uh, arose. Uh, and we can get fifth in the league again if we, if we get ourselves sorted out.